I have worked with Bad Boy uh, since the mid nineties. City of Lies, I know that's why we're here. Incredible movie. Love oh, it. Thank you. Love thank it. Thank you very, very much. But I had to call Wayne offline. Hey, Wayne, did he get it right? You know, great movie, but is, is it great for Hollywood or is it accurate? Mm -hmm. you know, what am I walking into? Because depending on what Wayne said, the interview goes very, very different. And Wayne mm -hmm. said, Sean, it's right. He was like, Brad paid attention to details. He is the real deal. And tell him I said so. I said, you know what? Uh, Say no more. You. Let's get into it. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, I think with this story, there were multi layers and levels of responsibility. Uh, responsibility to being a part of Big's legacy and how it's represented. Um, the effort, which is why I referred to him a lot, most of the time as Christopher Wallace, to humanize him. I think that we live in a world where we lose sight of the humanity of our icons. Christopher was a father and a son to a wonderful mother. Um, same thing with Pac. Um, you know, the influence that these two men in particular had on me was profound. The influence that they've had on the world um, was was and is and remains beyond profound. Their legacy speaks every day through their music and all the gifts that they've left behind. So I felt there was a deep responsibility to humanize them first and foremost. Secondarily, as a fan of just cinema, as a fan of excellent journalism, in looking at a movie, whether it's JFK um, uh, or um, uh, All the President's Men, I felt we, this was a modern day JFK, uh, you know, yep. one of the greatest, one of the greatest human figures of all time. Also, obviously one of the greatest black figures of all time. And to, to think that his story um, had unfolded where the end of his life was at the hands of the Los Angeles Police Department and a much larger cover up and corruption and these larger failures of the institution this is obviously very heavy, very weighty stuff where you're pointing direct fingers at things. And I felt that the book that I had read now at that point over 10 years ago, maybe around a decade, it would have been irresponsible to simply be like, okay, here's a book. I'm gonna just tell this narrative. Um, so I did a full-blown reinvestigation of the case. I worked with Sergio Robledo, who was the Wallace Civil Council's um, lead detective. I worked with Perry Sanders, who was their lead attorney at the time. Uh, I worked with Randall Sullivan, who wrote the book Labyrinth that it was based on. I worked in conjunction with the Poole family, and I reached out to Miss Wallace, who later introduced me to Wayne, and got the Wallace family on board, and then later also made sure that there was nothing in the movie that Pac Estate wasn't okay with and made some adjustments for them. But as far as the case, reinvestigated the whole case, top to bottom, up to down. And then the last word for responsibility, sorry, such a long answer, was understanding for me who I am, where I'm from, and that, you know, it was important that I tried to tell the story from the perspective of a fan, but in the same breath, understand that I am a white Jewish male, and that I was not interested in making a movie that exploited Biggie and or exploited his murder as well. Um, because I, we see a lot of raping and pillaging of black culture and I have no interest in being a part of that because the foundation within which I am from and live by is built upon the inspiration and influence of black culture. So I had to honor that in the film. And I knew there was no way to do that if you take it full circle without the support of Miss Wallace, without the support of Wayne, without talking to, you know, Forrest and people who've walked in the shoes of being, um, you know, black individuals in our society and community and, and, and really hearing their voices and letting their voices be a part of the fabric of the film because they're gonna be able to speak to things share things, give point of views on things that um, you know, I will never be able to do because it's not my experience. So um, it's very sensitive to all of these things. So there was a lot of boxes that needed to be checked, connected to that word responsibility. And, um, you know, that's a bit of my story on that one.
What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.